What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! March has arrived. FTC is always a vibe. We got some so fresh with clean, clean, educational list. Now, don't judge me. Sometimes, bro, I have, like, very, like, big interests and just, like, things that just be happening around the world. Okay, so, for example, like, one day I'll just be like, okay, what was, like, the most, like, rainiest day in, like, the world or when, or, or when, when you know, day is, you get me, basically like that. And, you know, I end up finding myself what they call it a rabbit hole, basically going into, and then, like, I remember at one time, I think maybe a year or two ago, I typed in, like, what is the coldest city or the coldest day that ever happened on Earth before? Um, and then it said, like, something like this, and now I don't even honestly remember. But basically, stumbled across this, we have basically the coldest city somebody had went to at negative 71 degrees, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of interested, and I wanted to check it out, man. We here. Seriously, see how what people are living. Um, sort of an educationalist type of vid too, why not? Or negative 20 degrees Celsius. Here it is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Or negative 47 degrees Celsius. Our lungs are not used to that's why we're coughing. The weather here is very cold and dry. There's a large population here, approximately 300,000 inhabitants. Damn, you can still Yet drive a negative seven. Where is this at? Republic, an autonomous region that is allied with Russia. 208. Damn, that's like by like, I already only know, only part I know about this part of the map right here is like Russia, I think it's like right here, and then you have Siberia. I'll be hearing scared things about Siberia, like from the animals and to like what they got going on over there. But like, nah, um, Sak, Sahak, is that how you say it? Saka? Yakutia? So is it, what is it? Yakutia or is it Saka? What's, what is it? What is it like the right, uh, the part of the country right here? Um, 80 miles away from the North Pole. Since this place is the most northeastern point of Siberia, it is very much. Wait, wait. This whole chunk right here, Siberia owns this? Isolated from the rest. I thought Siberia was just a small country like right here. The world so, is very much isolated from the rest of the world. Oh. They said it's isolated from the rest of the world. Bro, look how it moved. Outside temperature is around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Me, uh, the boiling water is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Bro, you see that? They said right now where he's at, negative 50. Bro. The lowest air temperature ever measured in this region. Is that a basketball jersey? Negative 96.16 oh, degrees Fahrenheit. It is Damn! Negative 96.16 He wet it and then it froze like ice. It is as Metal. if it belongs to another planet. A banana left outside can turn into a hammer in minutes. Bro, imagine throwing People it at somebody. People cannot wear metal frame glasses here because the metal could stick to their skin. And if they wanted to take off their glasses, their flesh might be seared out. This is a piece of meat that looks very much like human flesh. Let's just put yeah, it in like contact a, with you. You ever people. seen that one movie where they put the tongue? Oh, imagine someone putting their tongue there, bro. As you can see, these are natural gas pipes and they have to be laid above the ground because the underground is frozen with ice. There's actually a 100 foot thick mass of ice under the city. Look, this river is completely frozen. Damn, it's not even During a river. During the Soviet era, people who contradicted Stalin's ideas were exiled to Sahara Republic region. They were politicians, businessmen, etc. As a matter of fact, some of these people who live in Yakutsk right now are their grandchildren. So this place used to be a land of exile. Today, there is a city life going on. But we could call this life an ice hell. It pushes the limits of human nature. No matter how much we bundle up, nothing is enough to keep our body. Bro, that is crazy, dog. It's basically like a legal Antarctica that people are living in. If you, have I mean, a, you know, it's illegal to actually like, like live in the Antarctica. Here, you have a big we can problem. go there to study Winter shit. lasts for six to seven months here. And in that time, you can never drive your car. If you insist on driving it, you can never stop your vehicle's engine. For example, the car with a running engine you can see here is empty. There is nobody inside. 
There are hundreds of Damn. cars like this. The reason why the engine is running, if it stops, it can be completely covered with ice and the engine oil will freeze. As you so can they see, have to keep the their cars on 25 They decided not to run this or her car for a while. Just after 20 minutes of the engine being off, it is common to give up hope. Another Damn. frozen car here, waiting to be reused next summer. This car is running, right? Let's see if there's anybody inside. Yeah, nobody. Damn. Can you a imagine can what a huge waste like of energy? How do they get gas? Actually, is fortunately Russia is a country that is quite rich in oil and natural gas resources. Even the exhaust smoke freezes. That's how cold it is. There are special covers for protection. Sometimes this is not enough too. People who can afford it keep their vehicles in a heated garage. Because wow. these vehicles are constantly running. There is a constant layer of exhaust smoke over the city. Range of visibility is often below 200 feet due to the smog. The houses here have completely different architecture. The reason why the buildings are built on pillars is that the ground is covered with ice and there is a possibility of ice shift. Old houses start to lean over after a decade or so because the amount of ice either increases or decreases. It feels like pins and needles. The worst thing that could happen is to get frostbite. Considering a refrigerator operates at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a freezer operates at about negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the temperature here is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, everywhere you can see here could function as a very high-tech freezer. That's why some people are able to store their fruits or their meat just by hanging them outside their Bro, window. that is crazy. They, they have an instant freezer out outside. <sighs> What's he doing? Bro, that's a playground? Shay, yeah, I make the most of the fun of it. I, I guess those are trees. I just took off my they don't got, just bro, how do they eat like vegetables and stuff? Because you think about it like vegetables and fruits, they need like some type of warm. They got to get everything no, shipped in. It hurts terribly. My eyelashes are frozen too. I'm trying to break the ice. Move. Eyelashes Move. frozen is crazy. If you would stay outside for more than 15 minutes, you would experience problems such as skin burns and difficulty in breathing. Chill that starts with a needle prick like pain, frostbite followed by sensation loss, and then it could result in death. She took off her gloves for just 5 minutes to film me. Her fingertips instantly turned white. Our microphone is giving a red warning. It is not working properly. The camera is also not working as it should. Bro. <laughs> this cover is frozen. Our phones don't work as well. Her battery was about- Bro, it's just crazy even thinking about it. We have to really sit back and realize not only just like, in whatever position you're in, you have to be grateful for what you have, but we also got to be grateful of like the continuous consistency of the earth spinning on its rotational axis. Now, I know it just sounds a little bit funny, but hear me out, bro. Like, bro, if the earth just stops spinning the right way for like 20 minutes, we're all done for. We're all cooked. It's over with. Like, seriously, like the earth every day wakes up on the dot and is constantly spinning on its axis and has a perfect 24 hours a day every single day. You know what I'm saying? That's why you always got to live life like it's your last day and always be grateful, bro. Like... This is literally what the entire world could look like. You feel me? Wait, what if the sun just decided to just like move like one mile, five yards or some shit? You know what I'm saying? This way or that way or this way. Bro. Percent a couple of minutes ago. And then it suddenly died, whereas it was actually full. What you see behind me is a cemetery. The I don't know what that says. Under my shoes is see, about he says cemetery, you're right. And this ice mass under the city does not melt even in the summer. So how do people bury the dead? They gather pieces of coal and burn them for two to three days. Once the coal is burnt, the blocks of ice thaw and it can be easily removed using shovels. Finally, the area can be excavated to a depth of six to seven feet. The body of a person who died 100 or 200 years ago can be found very robust even today. Wow. 20% of the world's total diamond reserves are in Yakutsk. In addition to that, there are also all the elements in the periodic table. There are many mammoth and dinosaur fossils under the Akutia territories. 
In these areas where mammoths once were, their intact corpses still show up as the ice melts today. Oh, that's that mammoth off of ice In this land where people cannot engage in agriculture or farming, people eat fish. One of the most important features of this market is that they display the fish in public stalls rather than in refrigerators. Bro. Outside is much colder than any refrigerator. Oh, there's a vegetable. A piece of meat left outside won't spoil for months. Oh, gee, I do remember that. Like, if you, you can freeze meat for up to like three months. There are also usually. frozen rabbits here. Rabbit? Soon a lot, including with the ducks. Horse meat is also very common. It is about 45 pounds. They take this fish as a whole, put it outside and consume it for days. This one is also on sale. It never spoils, of course. Its ears are not moving at all. How many hours? <laughs> <laughs> Its ears are not moving at all. Is that the only thing you point out? 9.38 in the APM, wow. Hard worker. Uh, how many layers of clothing on upper body? Well, that's like five layers. They're probably still not worn. Two pair of shoes. They stand on such first, they do not feel the cold coming to their feet. Wow. The Akutin, who make up the majority of the population, are Turkic in origin. 38% of the population are Russian in origin. <laughs> okay, my bad. There are only such dogs here. Unfortunately, cats cannot dogs. survive. Only mammals with a really thick fur. There are two layers of glass inside the cars. So when the air conditioner warms the interior, it doesn't lose its temperature immediately. The scariest thing about being on the road is that people whose cars break down have a risk of dying if they cannot fix it within 30 minutes. Otherwise, engine oil under the hood freezes in minutes. If people get stranded in these rural areas with no phone signal, they have no choice but to freeze to death within a couple of hours. That's why every driver carries a toolbox in his or her car. Oh, man. It's literally survival every day. Our literally. journey to the village was completed with a dog sled ride. It's a nice jacket. During our dogs! time on the dog sled, I nearly lost an ear that was exposed to the wind and the cold. Bro, where's the your mask and... Yo! Bro's risking it all for the damn camera. Maria just accepted us to her village house. We're gonna know more about these mysterious Yakut people. Can you see it? As thick as my finger. I cannot feel it. It's quite numb. Look, my other ear is much thinner. Horses here are much shorter than the usual horses. Their bodies are conditioned to be short. That's how they can keep themselves warmer. Less surface area to worry about. They gave us their own clothes. We bundled up. You can tell by looking at the frozen boat that we're walking on a frozen lake. Wow. Oh, you better we tried to hit it at a 90 degree angle. We just drilled a 20 to 25 inch diameter hole. Cows will come and meet their water needs. We're constantly removing the ice. How long it takes for this water to again completely cover the ice? In one hour. Cows one hour? Are always kept in the barns in winter. They're drink. They're wait. You can't drink that water. Can't you get like that brain eating um disease or something huh. from the lake? <laughs> They don't ever feel cold. They do, of course. That's why they don't spend much time. Also. Oh, so they're taking drink. What's exactly? Your ear got frostbitten. If like it lasted longer, it will be very dangerous. They will have to cut it, right? If they cannot save it, they see? can cut it because the, the cells are dead. For you. Bro, you see, this dude risked it all and almost literally lost his ear. Ear, it's a traditional Yakut medicine. Fat of... Uh, bear. bear. My, yeah, my father took it from hunters. Oh. Yes, this will help for spitting and also if you burn it. If you look at it from behind, you'll see it more clearly. It is seriously swollen and they call it frostbite. I will probably have risked my entire ear if I had been in the cold for more than 15 minutes. The nature has no joke here. What is the coldest temperature you have ever been? <laughs> The coldest temperature is negative 17 degrees Celsius. What is cold for you? 
if I have good clothes, if I have enough clothes. Before negative 40 is not like real winter temperature for me. Negative 41, negative 48, it's like fine. Below negative 48, it's cold. And below negative 52, it's very cold. And every degree feels... The funny thing is like cold weather feels like fire, like, like burning. Yeah, that's true. But now my ear is yeah. burning. Yeah. I feel it's so hot. Sometimes people drink too much and they fall asleep somewhere outside. And one night outside, some people didn't have proper clothes and they went to the woods and their car broke down. They couldn't call someone because no phone service. Yeah, and it ended. What do you think about nature? whole lifestyle of Yakut people, of Saha people, is taking care of nature, respecting it. Early childhood, me and my family, we used to go to the woods to fish, to hunt. It's just a part of our life. And we always remember that we are not the owners of this land. We are just guests. For example, we always make a ritual. When we go to pick some berries, we always take I don't know if you guys heard her, but like she said something really, really like deep. Like they basically came to realization is that they don't own the land and they they're just basically guests. You know, I mean, it's really a deeper dive in the picture. Like that's just honestly with everything in life. It doesn't even just uh, you know have to start with there. It could just be anything. Even if you live in America, like as well. Like you don't if you don't actually like own your land and don't actually like own the like actual land like the ground that you're on bro like literally that's like basically you're just a you know what i'm saying a guess is what you would whatever call it and stuff and um yeah that was kind of deep where she said how y'all feel about that a little food with us we'll leave it on the ground and say nature please share with us please give us some food it's for the master of that land for the spirit do you believe wow. nature has a spirit Yes. For example, when we go to the forest, you shouldn't speak loud because you can disturb the spirits. You shouldn't drink there, have fun there, throw the garbage. Don't bother, don't disturb, don't destroy. The Yakut religion is not something which is written in a book or there is a church. Like, there is one center of our religion, but it's not something that like in other religions that we do every day we should pray we, we don't do something like that but it's in our mind it's in our lifestyle it, and it's all um, related to nature well, for what you have you that scroll looks yeah. different bro i never God, seen a scroll that looks for like what that you have, you have bro that's like literally like Nation. Final form, yeah. final yeah. boss squirrel right there. The gods are... That kind of looks cool. I never knew a squirrel. I thought squirrels only literally just have one complexion. You see that shit, guys? Look at that. That squirrel got like fluffy ears and stuff. Yeah. And then a fluffy tail. The gods are... That shit kind of look kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our gods are like part of the nature. Now I understand. Yeah. Why don't you migrate to south? Why it's warmer? Because living in these temperatures... It's like torture. <laughs> it's a torture for you, <laughs> but not for us. The first reason wow. is my family. Like, my family is here, and for me, the best is to be close to my parents, to my brothers. And secondly, I like the nature here. It's very pure. Like the ecology is very pure, and it's for me and for. Hey, whatever call it that vocab word to each day on. Hey, she, you know some things work for others. Some others, you know. Future children. Preferably me, I can never live somewhere this cold. Or even if it's something so hot, super, super hot. Our culture. I want, I want to preserve our language, our traditions, and give them to the next generations. Yakutsk has summers as well. In July, the average daily temperature is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to global warming... Wait, what? The average daily temperature is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. The average daily temperature in the summer is 67 degrees. That's the highest it goes up to. No type of... Stuff. Due to global warming, ice mass of our world is melting and mammoth corpses are coming up. But also, viruses fighting for thousands of years, which modern humans have never met before, can come to light. 
When Europeans migrated to North America, the flu they took with themselves to the continent killed most of the Native Americans who had been isolated for centuries. The flu didn't kill us because our immune system was strong. Similarly, ancient diseases to which we are not immune can come to light with the melting of the ice in these regions of the world and have devastating consequences. Wow. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I mean, it's this an interesting video ass video, man. Of a tribal documentary Let me know if you want to watch more of a channel. His name is Rui uh, Sinet.